Hi everyone and welcome to this week's video. I found a lovely shady spot on the deck outside the cabin and impatience has got the better of me. We haven't got to the coast yet but I've got a sheet ready. I'm going to pull out some colours and I'm going to get started on the challenge. So if you're joining me and we're going to be quite abstract in our mark making, fill the sheet with colour and then we're going to turn it over. We're going to cut it into squares and then we're going to turn those and we're going to work on what we've cut out. So I'll get my paints and we'll get going. I do two, very wet and quite gloopy. At the moment I prefer this, I've mixed down a paler blue and I prefer that. Let your sheets dry now and then we'll come in and get another layer down. Okay, stage one is always good because you've, you've got rid of the white paper and you're on your way. And you've had fun, you've had a bit of a mess around. Thinking about the challenge, it's made me think more about these outer areas on the sheet that I quite often don't use. For me, this perimeter, for whatever reason, I forget to fill. So this is pretty wet. I, I have to eat my words or thoughts. I thought these paints were pretty rubbish. <laughs> and they um, they're neon paints from Art Studio. They were as cheap as chips, so I didn't have a big expectation. But boy, using this blue this morning, this is like a, a form of a pouring paint, maybe, the way, the way it's gone down. And it's absolutely lovely. Hanging out to dry. I think it might be prudent to um, clear my table so that it's nice to come back to some kind of space. I found a piece of foam board and a couple of clips and I've condensed all that material onto it so I can pop it over the back and I know where all those pieces are. As usual, when tidying up, I found things, a really old piece of work and this will be the piece that I cut up. Michelle P said, cut it up and then rearrange it for unexpected compositions. I have worked up a few more layers. I marked off the back into squares. It gives me 16 small squares and four slightly bigger rectangles. I'm still aware that it's very mean <laughs> around the edges, but I'm already at that stage where I can see things that I like a bit here and I like a bit there. I'm going to cut them. Uh, I'm going to cut them as it as is dictated by the lines on the back. I think the heat's got to me today. Knowing when to cut, have I got enough down on here? Well, my feeling is I'm going to just go for it, and I know that I can work more on them as individuals. That's the plan. So over we go and oh. Oh, 
last one. My lines aren't perfectly straight, but I can tidy up. Oh, look at all this work. So, one, let's turn, oh, let's do it. I'll turn that one over. I am ready to go. Coming up to Stonehenge on our journey, we won't be stopping. It's very, very busy because the summer solstice is nearly upon us and lots of people come to celebrate here. We are going to head to Cornwall. So quite a way to go yet. I've got my travel sketchbook with me and my regular sketchbook and what I decided to do is take a page. I've cut, I rather foolishly forgot to bring a mount. <laughs> so I've cut a square from one of my pages and I thought, yes, that will be quite useful. You'll notice that these actually are too big. So I've got a lovely stack and they're larger than I need, but the beauty of having them too big is, although yes, I'm dictated because I cut them blind, but I still have a degree of, I can manoeuvre, I can manoeuvre and find, I can turn them and I can identify, do I want something central? Can, how far can I come over to the left or to the right? So you get the gist of it. So I thought that was quite a good little idea. And um, that will be really useful actually for me to work while it sits under there. The other thing that I wanted to say that came to me, when something, so if I choose, if I choose one of these that's particularly, particularly busy, so something like that, obviously because you've worked so much on your big sheet, you want to get plenty of material down, but then that is just too, too busy. So I can pop him under and I can try and identify what I like, an area, and it, it, it's still, it's very, very busy. You might use piece, pieces, cutouts, just to try and see where it needs calming. Um, I could, I've got scissors here and I could cut a straight line um, so you can mess around you could mess around you could cut I could cut the shape just to try and give you an indication of what you might want to put into it to make it more cohesive You get the idea before you go in with the white paint. That's my feeling. I loved all the foxgloves as we came into Cornwall. They're on in all the verges at the moment. And, it, and it's an idea for a painting, a long painting. Glorious. I hope the colour comes through. So pretty, so soft.
Wow. We've rounded the bend on the cliff. If I don't watch where I'm going, I'll trip. What a beautiful view. It's all stunning. It's all beautiful. Needless to say, we somehow lost the footpath and um, we're just hoping we can um, find our find our way. We made it and it's worth it. Tate at St Ives and I'll film more and if I can inside for next week. Yeah.